Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Undertale. In the last episode, we truly began the genocide run. There's no turning back now. In this episode, we're going to continue on with it and see just what else could possibly go wrong when we destroy literally everything. Now you may notice that the music sounds a bit wonky. It actually changes depending on whether what route you're taking. If you're taking the genocide route, the music becomes lower pitched and uh, sometimes distorted. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, I saw Sans back there walking by. I wonder what he'll have to say to us if we just keep on going. Come to the dead end. Third time shaking hands with him. We're gonna turn around even sooner this time. Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Interesting. I was hesitant to do it this time because we're not human anymore, we're soulless. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. That's, uh, your cue to laugh. Or, uh, to emote at all. Gee, lady, you really know how to pick him, huh? Uh, wait. Gee, lady, you really know how to pick him, huh? Are you talking about Toriel, or are you talking about himself? Is Sans a girl? Okay, that's fine. Everybody's got their own sense of humor. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. No, because they say they're brothers, but you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother Papyrus... Uh, I have a bit of a headache right now, so I'm actually not entirely looking forward to voicing Papyrus. Uh, I think that's him over there. So we'll just keep on going. I'll skip the dialogue that I've already seen before. Find that community shaped lamp. A classic. I'm not doing it. Whoa, I'm actually not doing it? Uh, okay, I guess you don't have to. Wow, I'm not playing along. Sans, have you found a human yet? Yeah. Really? Wow, we guess that's settled. But <laughs> he just leaves. That worked out, huh? Are you just gonna stare at me or? Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Interesting, so we're not playing along with him anymore because we don't like him, or we don't trust him. I wonder if this character has the memories of the pacifist route, though. Well, I'll be straightforward with you. My brother would really like to see a human. So, you know, it'd really help me out if you kept pretending to be one. 16 left. Interesting. <laughs> So now I could go ahead and search for enemies. Yep. I could just stay on this screen and the game will now tell you how many more are in each area. I could just go ahead and kill them now. And once I'm done, I could continue on with the story. So I will meet you guys in a bit when I finish killing every enemy in Snowden. Oh no, I have to kill Lesser Dog now! He appears early on because I'm killing enemies and he shows up because there's no one else left to fight. I don't want to kill Lesser Dog. Can I pet him a bunch before killing him? I probably can't, so just go ahead and do it. Oh, I forgot. I had to pamp, pamp, pamp. Okay. Do I need to lure him closer or... No, I just have to... I switched to the glove, so I just need to get the new... Uh, tactic in. Oh, but I just need to know how to use it. Just press it a bunch. I killed Lesser Dog. I feel poopy. <laughs> Couldn't even get a few hugs in before I killed him. Um, is this a new enemy? I don't remember ever seeing this. It's the whatever this guy was originally called, but he's looks like he's got sunglasses now. Brush my teeth? No way in heck, or something. Uh, okay. Regardless, he's dead now. 
My love increased! Hooray! And there you have it! Everyone in Snowden is dead. That's fishing rod fixated to the ground. Reel it in? Yes. All attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. Huh, okay. Uh, we're just gonna keep on going. And that happens. Let's see what changes in the puzzles now. So Sans, when's the human showing up? I want to look my Sunday best. Oh, or at least look my Tuesday pretty good. <laughs> Don't you only have one outfit? Yeah, but I could style my hair if I had any. Yo! <laughs> All right, good idea. Say, why don't you look over there? What? Sans! Oh my God! I'm dizzy. What am I looking at? Build a rock. Oh my God! Why are you telling me to look at a rock? Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! I have no idea what that is! Well, it's not a rock. Not a rock? Oh no! My process of elimination! That means it's a human! Ahem. Human! Prepare yourself for hijinks! For low jinx! Dangers! Puzzles! Capers! Japers! Being captured! And other sorts of fun activities! Refreshments will be provided. If you dare! Yo -ho 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 -ho! And you don't even bat an eye, huh? Well, the dialogue was different at least, so I guess that's fun. Uh, there's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Go over here. I wonder if the puzzles get you. Oh, we gotta fight this guy again. And I actually have to kill him this time. Something just moves in my imagination. Gotta fight Doggo. How powerful is he? Cause like I never fought him before. Well, I guess that answers that. Don't move. Very good. And he's dead. You won. You're in 30 experience and 30 gold. Uh, anything here? Is it like a photo of his wife and kids that he left behind now? Absolutely no moving. And here I go. Start moving. Okay, just keep going. But nobody came. Thanks for that popping up. I actually got the opportunity to read the sign. North ice, south ice, west ice, east snowden, and ice. Up here. Hello, I'm a snowman. I cannot move. Traveler, if you could, get this. You got the snowman piece. Oh, me. What are you doing? Soon there won't be any of me left. You got the snowman piece. Oh, God. You're carrying too many items. Oh, God darn it. Uh, let's see. I'll use up the monster candy. Stop, please. You got the snowman piece. I didn't think they would actually let us do this. A useless pile of snow. Interesting. Uh, he has 45 HP. Please take this to the ends of the earth. Well, it's a healing item now. Uh, that's really sinking interesting, but I'm wondering if like all the fights are gonna be like Toriel where they just die in one hit I don't know if that's gonna be the case, but they might do it like that because they know that we're just backtracking They want to make the game short for us. I don't know You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping Excuses excuses Oh, -ho, the human arrives in order to stop you my brother and I have created some puzzles I think you will find this one quite shocking. Wow. For you to see, this is the invisible... Uh... Hmm, you must be having culture shock. You see, where I come from, it's a loving tradition to suffer through horrible puzzles for no reason. So, uh, just walk back there and, uh... Uh... uh why couldn't we get a human that likes puzzles? He just leaves. It would make my brother happy if you played along. Eh, sorry, I ain't here to make people happy this time around. Go over here. I actually know how this puzzle works this time, so I can just walk on over- Oh wait, no, this isn't the exact area. The golf ball's gone, which is interesting. Uh, what does it say? His. 
Uh, smell danger rating. Yeah, we know about that. Don't worry. Uh, his and hers. That that hasn't changed at all. But I like how the human in, um, themselves actually changes their attitude. It's not just a silent protagonist anymore. We're turning it into something horrible. Uh, there's a hole here. Uh, there's a camera hidden inside the lump of snow. And it's a snowball. Wait, what? Just a snowball? In Genocide Run, it's a snowball, but in other runs, it's a snow decahedron. Interesting. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they'll skip this one. Sans, that did nothing! Whoops, I knew I should have just put down Junior Jumble instead. What? Junior Jumble? Finally, something we can both agree on! Guess we don't like word searches, huh? Me neither. I'm more of a funny pages kind of guy. I assume it's gonna be the same paper. I don't want to look at it because I'm afraid it'll deactivate the run. Uh, determination. Okay, we'll save real quick. Uh, that's a good uh, thing to... Uh, looks all the same. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, it's a note from Papyrus. Please enjoy the spaghetti! It's a trap. Let's play frozen spaghetti. It's so cold it's stuck to the table. And then if we go up here, the mouse hole does nothing. Keep on going. Uh, but yeah, the morning dog marriage. Oh wait, there are, what, enemies? Oh no, I was like, what? Uh, this is where we would fight lesser dog normally. Thankfully, I know how this puzzle works, so I'm going to spend 20 minutes on this, cover uncovering literally every single piece of snow. I remember I was, like, uncovering all of the snow. I thought I had to, like, get it out of the square to have the puzzle activate. Like, I thought I was going to, like, have this machine pop up or whatever. It was really stinking annoying. I like how that's just floating in midair now. And, hello. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify yourself. Okay, we got to fight the dog marriage now. That's unfortunate. We can't pretend to be a lovable doggy. That weird smell makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Get rid of dog of me. Oh, right down the middle. 55 damage. Oh, wow. Take my wife's fleas. Don't actually. Oh, jeez. Jump over here. At least the enemies are easy to fight. I assume that's going to change later on. Because, like, I haven't seen a lot of these enemies HP before. Uh, so it's interesting seeing them for the first time. But I assume it's going to be more difficult like I like the fight with Papyrus and Undying when I was actually trying to deplete their HP until the mercy thing activated misery awaits you uh becomes a lot slower now or a lot quicker and smaller hop so they're angry that I just killed uh they're is on the war path uh you'll be really messed up if I killed just one of them uh jeez this thing and fly there's this thing and fly in my room I'm just, apologize for like I sound very out of it it's just there's a fly in my room it's making me very distracted and annoyed, and it's putting me in the angry mood of the genocide run, I'll say that much. You won, you're at 60 spirits and 50 gold. And they're gone. Gonna avoid this puzzle. Oh, that's sink and fly, I really wish I could just land right here and I could kill it right away. And the puzzle's not even activated, so I could just skip right through it without even doing it. Uh, what, did Papyrus just give up or something like that because I haven't been doing it? So he's just like, it's not even worth it anymore. It seems like it. He just gave up! Hey! It's that human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great... Are you serious? Sans, help! They keep walking through my puzzles! They're supposed to let me explain them, then threaten and baffle them with dangerous japes! Well, maybe they don't like japes. Everyone likes japes! What about Undyne? Doesn't she hate puzzles? She hates puzzles, but she loves japes! That makes sense. Human, what do you think? Puzzles or japes? Okay, this is normally the part where you either agree or disagree. And depending on your answer, we say something great in response. Here, why don't you do this puzzle yourself? Um, interesting. Wait, you want me to activate it? It's, it's a illegible chicken scratch. Hey, puzzles might be fun if you tried them. Uh, I guess we're just gonna keep on going. I hate seeing Papyrus in like a bad mood though, because like he's definitely my favorite character. Uh, it's a pile of mushy snow. They haven't built the snowman because they're all dead. Oh god. 
determination. Keep on going. Just ride on across here. And, whoops, messed that up. Well, at least we get to see this again. Snow Papyrus, yeah. It's weird seeing Papyrus in just such a bad mood. It's like in that one episode of One Piece where Chopper makes a bone pun before Brooke gets to, and he's like, Um, Chopper, bone jokes are the only thing I have less left in this world. Please don't take them away from me. Uh, just walk across here. And... The dog! Okay. Uh, I guess that changed up a bit. Just telling us that nobody came. What's up? I want to see if there's. Any I doubt there's anything different over here, but just to be sure. Say, are you following me? No, I'm just going to this door that I know is a dead end. Oh, and think enemies could appear in here, but apparently they could. Up here we got a mystery door that we still cannot open. Maybe in the genocide run we could finally do it. Who knows? I uh, go over here and I fight Greater Dog. Oh, I just realized I have to kill Greater Dog. Now I'm sad again. Well, he becomes super creepy when he gets out of the thing. But no, wait, no, it's not a giant dog. He's just in the suit. You know, we've seen him out of the suit before, so he looks cute normally. It's just right now he looks really creepy. Uh, do that. 53 damage. Takes half the HP. Just don't move and we're good to go. And... Uh, I sort of messed up with that one, but just wait a little bit. Come on. Making this fight super long. And I can just mess up the active command, and he'll be good. Good as dead, that is. But remember if I read him like this, it's a snow puff. This is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. I thought it, like, changed a bit or something like that. Is it really a snow puff? It was, like, something I didn't get on recording. I was like, why are you reading them backwards? Eh, there's 30G inside this. What is this? I guess that's what I got. If I read him backwards, I get the 30G. That's cool, I suppose. Woof. <laughs> Just walk through here then, and I think we're done with Snowden. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror! Hey, cute little doggy's still up there. I know he's supposed to be annoying, but he's still adorable. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now! That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, they're probably going to walk through it. And it won't be any fun at all. Hmm, so this human thing was a bust, huh? Well, I mean, I'm excited to capture them, so I'll become a famous royal guardsman. But all the same, by all the time I put these into- Bleh! But all the time I put into these puzzles, it's kind of like throwing a birthday party. Without traps and fire? Exactly! It's pointless! Maybe you were right to be lazy about puzzles. Me? Right about something? Really? Yeah, what am I saying? You're still completely wrong! I just have the wrong audience. Think about how much fun Undyne would have here. Flames, violence, it's right up her alley! So I won't waste this puzzle on you! I just have to appreciate the friend I already have! Oh, but Pyrus isn't her friend anymore. Phew! A valuable life lesson. No! <laughs> hmm. Guess we didn't need your help to have a good time after all. Say, I've been thinking. Seems like you're gonna fight my brother pretty soon. Here's some friendly advice. If you keep going the way you are now... You're gonna have a bad time. I was literally just about to say, I wonder what Sansa's reaction is going to be to killing his brother. It, I feel like Sans knows more than he's letting on because he shows up in the end of the game as a shadow during the neutral route. And he's the like one of the very, very few main characters that you don't fight during the neutral or pacifist run. 
So, I'm really excited and terrified to find out what he's going to do to you. Also, everyone's gone. Except for you, of course. I can't w I'm actually excited to have you fall off the cliff because I stink and hate you. Everyone ran away and hid somewhere. Man, adults can be so dumb sometimes. <laughs> Don't they know we've d got Undyne to protect us? That's interesting. It's actually... Oh my god. It's broken. Uh, we can actually go back here, though. You can't go through the fire exit because you're not made of fire. <laughs> oh, that was a funny bit of dialogue. We couldn't see that before because there was always lesser dog blocking the way. Uh, can't walk behind the counter. Uh, I wonder if I could go through the shops and get things for free because they're all gone. Door's locked. Don't, uh, wanna walk- Okay, it's just the same thing. The inn. Uh, hello. It's merely a decoy. We can't stay at the inn because no one's here to greet us. How about the shop? Can we even buy anything or can we not buy stuff in this game? But nobody came. Take, steal, read, exit. There's a note here. Please don't hurt my family. Oh god. Take. All of it's for zero G. Steal. You took- Oh, I could steal money. Why would I want money though if everything's gonna be free? You stole some of the G behind the counter. Nothing left. Oh my god, just to be a jerk, I guess. Uh, sure, I'll take everything. Uh, heals level HP, eat it twice. It's my own recipe. Well, I'm gonna go put things in storage real quick. Oh god, I feel really bad. This is- It's making me feel very unsettled, I'll say that. I, I guess I'm saying I'll say that much. I feel like I've been saying that way too stinking much. Get rid of that. Uh, just give us four spaces of inventory. Going to... I wonder if I could actually fight Temmie. I'm interested to find that if I kill one of her- Because you do fight the mini Tems. So I'm wondering if Temmie becomes a boss if I do that. Uh, take this, this, this. It doesn't do anything. Uh, the Manly Bandana though, we have one defense or three or whatever. We equip the manly bandana, then uh, we have seven defense, cool. Uh, the tough glove is what we have equipped right now, right? Yeah, so there was no point in getting another one. Uh, but we got the bicycle and then the cinnamon bun, which is nice. So get rid of the tough glove, faded ribbon. Got a lot of stuff to sell to Temmy later on, but who knows if we'll even get that extra storage because uh, who knows? Got the inn, everything's gone and done. I don't know what else to say, it's just very unsettling and sad that it really makes you feel like garbage for going through with this. And Sans, Sans is the most interesting thing about it because I'm aware that he's a very fan favorite character for certain reasons. I don't want to go into that and I also don't entirely know why people think those sorts of things, if you know what I'm referring to, but um, I'll find out soon enough, I guess. Even the rocks are gone. No answer. He's even gone? Aww. I'm really interested. Into the library. No one's around. I like how the music is just silent, or maybe there's music and I just can't hear it. It's locked from the inside. Uh, could we even go into Papyrus's house now, or is it afterwards we do that? It's locked. I'm full healed, right? So, this is where we fight Papyrus. I don't know if it's gonna be another one-hit KO thing, like last time, or if it's going to be... Uh, an actual fight. I guess we'll see soon enough. Let me just save real quick, and then we'll do the deed that must be done. I remember when I first saw the designs for Papyrus and Sans, I was very bothered at the fact that Sans had pupils and Papyrus didn't. I really like skeleton characters that don't have pupils, so... I kind of wish Sans didn't, but now that I saw him with pupils, I kind of don't ever want to see it again because it's so unsettling. But I'm sure we'll see it many more times in the future. HALT, HUMAN! Hey, quit moving while I'm talking to you! Hi, the Great Papyrus have some things to say. First, you're a stinking weirdo! Not only do you not like puzzles, but the way you shamble about from place to place, the way your hands are always covered in dusty powder... What? It feels... Oh! Oh. Dusty powder is in the powder that the enemies turn into once I kill them. Oh jeez. It looks like your life is going down a dangerous path. 
However, I, Papyrus, see great potential within you. Everyone can be a great person if they try. And me, I hardly have to try at all! Yo ho 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 ho! Hey, quit moving. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Human, I think you are in need of guidance. Someone needs to keep you on the straight and narrow. But worry not, I, Papyrus, will gladly be your friend and tutor. I will turn your life right around. I see you are approaching. Are you offering a hug of acceptance? Wow, we my lessons are already working. I, Papyrus, welcome you with open arms. Huh, Papyrus is sparing you. We could end the fight right now and go back to the neutral run because of just the change in mood. He wants us to not fight him. It's, oh my god, he's just so stinking likable. I love him so stinking much. Him and Undyne are my two favorite characters, but Undyne's gonna be pure stinking evil in this run, so... Oh, it all goes downhill from here. Let's do it. Well, that's not what I expected. But, st still, I believe in you. You can do a little better. Even if you don't think so. I, I promise. Oh boy, Sands is going to hate us. And now we're in Waterfall. Can I go back to to their house? Will Sands be in there? I wonder. It's so weird, however many episodes it took me to fight Papyrus originally, and now it's just episode 2 of the genocide route. And this happens. We've killed Papyrus. Sans has lost any and all reason to show us mercy. The two most important people in his life are now gone because of us. Next time on Undertale, we'll continue on this rampage through Waterfall. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.